You've heard the news, the real estate market has changed, okay? We know interest rates have almost doubled, even more so, doubled since the end of 2021 to where they are today, which is about 6%. What does that mean? What's been happening? I'm gonna clear it all for you. And I wanna start by letting you know, this is kind of the story of two different homes. We are seeing homes that are great houses, well put together, priced right, go on the market and sell with multiple offers, doing very well. And we are seeing other homes go on the market with unflattering pictures, homes that maybe have issues that the seller couldn't address, but we're seeing those houses not perform as well as they would have six months ago, okay? Why? Well, with interest rates rising, buyers are getting a lot pickier about the home that they buy. We're seeing a few more houses on the market today for those buyers to choose from than there were six months ago. So we are in very much a transitioning market. Now, I would always tell every client, your home is not worth $1 amount. Your home is actually worth a range. And a typical conversation I'll have with a client is, your home, a buyer will probably pay somewhere between a million three fifty and maybe a million four twenty-five. Somewhere in that range is where your house is going to sell. Now, if the house is marketed properly, if it's presented as well as it can, you should get on the high end of that range. If the house isn't marketed properly or the house has issues that we can't overcome, it will show up where that house is selling at the lower end of that range. So who you hire to sell your home will make a big difference going forward. Presentation is everything in the sale of your home. Let's talk about the market. What's going on? This is the second quarter review for 2022. We're gonna start with zip code 91201. This is near Burbank, okay, north of uh, Glen Oaks and a little bit of south. This quarter, average sale price in 91201 was $1,549,000. Compared to the first quarter of this year, that is up 20%, okay? Huge, huge difference. Compared to the second quarter of 2021, which was 12 months ago, we're up 15%. Those numbers look strong. The price per square foot, okay, for 91201 in the second quarter was $781 a foot. Funny thing, that is actually down 10% from the first quarter, okay? And it's actually flat from the second quarter of last year. A lot of, lot of things in flux there. Days in the market, 16, okay? First quarter, that was almost 30 at 29 days, okay? So we're down 50%, but that's a good thing. You want the days in the market to be short, okay? Last year, second quarter, average was 24, so we're down 33% from that. That's a good thing. How many sales were there? This previous quarter, 20. First quarter, 16, okay? So we're up 25%. Last year, 13 sales we're up 50% in sales volume from last year, okay? Let's talk about 91202. This is like Brand Park and just south of that area. For the second quarter that just ended, average price, $1,627,000, okay? That is actually down 7% from the first quarter. Now, when you compare it to the second quarter of last year, we are up 10% from the second quarter of last year. Let's talk price per square foot. Recent quarter, $881 a square foot. First quarter, $883 a square foot. Pretty nominal, we're gonna call it flat. The price per square foot in the second quarter of 2021, we are up 25% from that number, which was $696. Let's talk days on the market. Currently, second quarter, 15 days on the market. First quarter of this year was 27 days on the market. We're down 45%, that's good. 
Last year, second quarter, average days on the market was 36. We're down 60% from that, that's great. Number of sales, 27 in the second quarter. First quarter was 17, we're above that by 60%. Last year, second quarter was 16, we're above that as well. So looking strong again in the number of sales. Let's go down to the Adams Hill area, zip code 91205. Current quarter, average sale was $1,125,000. That is down 8% from the previous quarter, okay? So it's a kind of a big difference there. Let's go to the second quarter of the first 2021. We are up 9% from that number, which was $1,036,000. Let's talk about price per square foot. Currently, $838 a foot. That is up 5% from the previous quarter. Now remember that, average sale was down 8% from the previous quarter, but price per square foot was up 5% for the previous quarter. What does that mean? Probably smaller houses selling, okay? Smaller houses selling is gonna bring the average price down, but smaller houses selling also have a higher price per square foot, okay? So that's probably why that happened. Last year, second quarter, we are up 25% in price per square foot, that's a big deal. Days on the market, 26, that's down 8% from the previous quarter, that's good. Average days on the market in quarter number two of last year was 17, so we're up 50% from that. Number of sales, this was interesting, 11 sales this quarter, 11 sales last quarter, and 11 sales in Q2 of 2021. How's that, lucky 11. Let's go to 91206. Most recent quarter, just under an average of 1.8. We're at a million seven hundred ninety-six thousand dollars. Okay, that is up 16% over Q1, and that is up 13% from last year. Okay, let's talk about price per square foot. We're at seven hundred eighty-four dollars a square foot. First quarter, we're up six percent. Okay, comparing that to last year, this is big. We are up. 15% from last year in price per square foot. Days on the market, 15. Last quarter, they were 23. We're down 36%. Last year, they were at 20, so down 25%. So we're good. How many sales were there? This recent quarter, 33. Last quarter, 30. But check this out. Second quarter of last year, 47 sales in 91206. That was a big quarter. Let's go to 91207, my home here in Ross Point. Average sale for the current quarter, $1,830,000. That is actually down from the first quarter by about 5%, where the average last quarter was a million nine thirty-six. Last year, second quarter, we're up by 10%, okay? Let's talk price per square foot. Currently, $840 a square foot. First quarter, we're up 7% from that. Same thing, average sale price actually went down from last quarter, but the average price per square foot went up. Smaller houses selling. And then last year, second quarter, we're up 18% over that. So that's, that's significant. 22 sales in this recent quarter, 19 in Q1, and 28 in the second quarter of 21. We're down 25% from that. That's kind of significant. Let's talk about 91208. This is gonna be North Glendale getting towards La Crescenta. Currently, $1,691,000 is the average. First quarter, we're up. 5% from that million 607. Last year, we're up 15% from that number of a million 461. Price per square foot, currently 847. That's up 15% from the first quarter and up a whopping 21% from the second quarter last year. Days on the market, 15. Things are moving fast. Previous quarter, 23 days. So we're down 35% from that. Last year, down 36% from that number. How many sales were there? Most recently, 32. Last quarter, 25. We're up 
28%, that's good. But the second quarter of 2021 saw 50 sales in the zip code 91208 we are down 32% from that volume. I'm gonna go down to 91203 and 91204. Now this is a weird zip code combo because it's the area like around uh, south of, of Colorado, near the Americana, lots of commercial, lots of condos, not a lot of single family houses, but let's talk about the ones that sold. Most recently, average sale price for single family in those zip codes was a million 26. Okay, so if you wanna get a house lower price point, this is where you go. That is pretty flat, only uh, up 1% from the previous quarter and actually down 7% from last year. Price per square foot at $744, last quarter saw a whopping $920. We're down 19% from that. Last year at this time was $751 a square foot. So we're, we're almost with that, in fact, we're down a little bit from last year. I think that's interesting. Days in the market, 18, previous quarter 25, a year ago 15. How many sales? Most recently, eight. Last quarter, four. A year ago, second quarter, nine. I think this zip code, 91203 and 91204, is, getting a, is very volatile right now. I don't think it's a neighborhood that people think of when they think about Glendale. People want to live uh, either in Adams Hill or north of Glen Oaks. I think there's a lot of instability in 91203 and 91204 in the single family market. Condos, different world, okay? There's a lot of condos in this area, including the ones at the Americana. So if you're looking for a condo, you're probably looking in those zip codes. So there you go, people. Our real estate market is in transition. It is not what it was six months ago, but it's not bad by any sense of the word. If you have any questions about what your home is worth or what's going on in your specific neighborhood, reach out, happy to have a conversation with you. That's what's going on in Glendale today.